Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Welcome to this broadcast today, 24th to 25th of September 2022. We're going to have a very brief, a very brief broadcast today and uh, probably we may have uh you know we may receive call maybe for a couple of calls i have just come this evening this morning depending on where you are watching from to expose the impunity going on in nigeria and the reason why we must leave by 2023 no matter what it costs i want to tell you this evening to you know when you see what is going on ignore every distraction ignore every distractions we have focused we have target we have template we are following we have plan how this biafra will be achieved by 2023 we have this target we are not going to miss the target of getting Biafra in 2023 It is going to be a miracle. And miracle is already happening. I want you people to understand that this Biafra struggle is more of a spiritual thing. The stage where we are now is the less you look, the more you see. The less you look, the more you see. It's not the more you see, the less you look. Or the more you look, the less you see. No. The less you look, the more you see. And I want to tell you today that our code is water, water. And when they say that... For those who have been attacking us and uh, making all manner of uh, things on social media, they don't exist. The only thing that exists amongst us today is you and I. Those who believe that we are going to get our freedom next year are the only thing that exists. Every other person does not exist. P2B does not exist. As long as this Biafra liberation is concerned. P2B followers does not exist as long as this Biafra struggle and the liberation is concerned. There is a picture and video they are sharing all over social media. They say P2B was in Abuja and they say Abuja closed down for P2B and so what? We don't care. They share a picture of P2B in, uh, in uh, northern Nigeria. They wear him, uh, northern chieftaincy and all that. For what? We don't care. If you match for P2B in Abuja, it's your right. Okay? It's what you think you want to do. But it ends there. Their friends are not smiling. We cannot exchange our freedom for one ordinary presidential ticket the time is over for people to talk about presidential ticket don't bring the madness to biafra land when we have put in place measures to stop nigeria from conducting election in biafra land don't bring the madness there you know so if you march in abuja let your madness end in Abuja. Abuja is in Nigeria, sorry. Abuja is in Nigeria. Akwaite, thank you for your super chat. We appreciate you. Abuja is Nigeria. So if you are marching in Abuja, let it end there. We are not interested in what you do in Abuja. P2B is contesting to be the president of Nigeria. So he can march in Abuja. They can close Abuja down. And we know what the British they are doing. So they can close Abuja down, but Abuja is not a Biafra land. And so 
as we continue this liberation and those of you composing music and song for Peter B, you are just wasting your time. It is good you practice your talent. It is good you put your talent and sing for Peter B. But I'm telling you today, you are wasting your time. That your music you are composing for Peter B will be better when you compose it in, for Biafra. Because Peter B will be a disappointment and the way the Biafra people will, will, will rub Poto Poto on his face. Because with whoever that is following him, election can never hold in Biafra land. No matter how you pull crowd in Abuja, it doesn't move us. We have seen more than that. President Jonathan pulled more than crowd than any of them. All these people gallivanting today. President Goodlock Jonathan pulled more crowd even in the north, more than whatever you see today. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, what happened? Everything crashed. Now, before some of you we go further into what we're going to do today. I want you to understand how evil Nigeria has become, how Islamized Nigeria is, the incongruousness, the dangerous diversity and all that. The reason why we're living in Nigeria is that Biafra have the right to life, the right to live. We have to secure our life and our future before we talk about development. So on this note, without wasting any time, I am going straight to the point. I want you all to understand that when you hear peace talk, let me now show you something very important. Now, what you're about to watch now is what they say, what they call peace talk. Peace talk. Peace Accord. I want you to watch very attentively. First of all, pay attention to everybody. Pay attention to everybody. Let us go from the beginning. Pay attention to everybody seated in this house or seated on this table. Pay attention to everybody seated here. You don't see anybody from Biafra. There is no Igbo person here. There is no Ijo person here. If you see any Ijo or anybody that is from Biafra land here, it means the person is sitting as a secretary somewhere or as Onye 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 Nebuapa. As somebody that carries her bag. If you look here, you see somebody here who is not dressed like them, is also one of them. There is no Ishiago here. There is no head of the tiger here. There is nothing that is a resemblance of Nigeria here. There is nothing that represents the different ethnic nationalities in Nigeria here. There is nothing that represents the so-called Wazobia. So let's even agree that this particular present time in the history of Nigeria, you have a Fulani man contesting as a president, you have a Biafra man contesting as a president, you have a Yoruba man contesting as a president. So in other words, you become Wazobia. Now, you are talking as, uh, you, are talk, you are now talking about peace accord between these three Wazobia, which is the way Nigeria will break up next year. You have no representative from other region that is going to be talking about this peace accord. I want you people to understand that while you are shouting OB, Nigeria has some of you, you don't know what Fulani has done. You think that Fulani will abdicate power and then all of a sudden OB will enter as a president and OB will change the number of Ishi the Fulani that is sitting here. It will become Ishi Igbo. It will become Ishindi Yoruba. So you think that Obi will now change the setting of the people sitting down here. If you are thinking like that, you are the most stupid person on earth and we can't follow your stupidity. That is why we are different. That is why we will never allow you to come to Biafra land during election. That is why 
during the election time, we are going to seal Biafra land. I want you to think about it. Ask Obi, how will he change the head, the heads that are here, to make it to Ishiago, 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 and the Indio Femano, Femano, Femano. How can you do that? You can't do that. But this is Fulani. Fulani convened in Abuja, discussing peace for the entire Nigeria of over 400 languages. And Obi is the one who is going to change this setting. Ibuano, Ibuano Mano, if you can think like that. Now, let us, so have we shown you the picture here? Let us now go and play the video. Are you seeing all of them, including the Sultan of Sokoto? The person you see here is the Sultan of Sokoto. Now, look at them. All of them here are all Northerners, all Fulanese. This one was born in, this is, a, this is a retired general who is the chief of defense staff. He was born in Kaduna. He's a Kaduna man. Did you see anybody? Any, this is Bishop Kuka. And when you listen to these names, some of them even sound like Igbo name. You know this bishop, that, this uh, general that is going to talk now, is called Agwai. When you listen to the name, the name sound like Delta name, Agwai. It is Delta people that answer Agwai. When I went to check this man information, he is a Kaduna man. He was born in Kaduna and belonged to Kaduna. He's a is from Kaduna State, not even Igbo. In fact, it has nothing to do with Igbo, but his name is Agwai. Look at them, Sultan of Sokoto. You cannot see anybody that is wearing Ishago here. Nobody is representing Indigo here. Nobody is representing anybody here. Everything here is full and discussing your peace. Discussing peace. I know that after this video, they will now have another meeting where you are going to see Ishiago. Believe me, just go mark my word. After today, they are going to have another meeting. And in that meeting, they will bring one fake chief from, uh, from Mumbaise or from, uh, from Hope Uzodema's village. And they will wear him Ishiago. And he will come there and sit. Somebody say, Agua is a northern Christian. Yes, but Agwai is Igbo, is Igbo name. Agwai is a Delta name, if I'm not mistaken. Look at them. Look at them. Deciding your fate. Deciding your fate. Look at them. All of them full of knees. The meeting we have had is uh, in the Look at Martin Luther Agwai, former chief of defense staff. Martin Luther Agwai is a Kaduna man, he's a Notana. Incorporating new measures to bring a new. Uh, ideas uh, revitalize the Nigerian Peace Committee and especially did you hear that he said Nigerian Peace Committee what is Nigeria in the gathering have all the ethnic group in the Nigeria represented in this peace committee he said Nigeria Peace Committee Comprising of only Fulani and the, the, the not the not Muslims. They're looking forward to the February 2023 election. How we can make it peaceful for everybody and how the election can be seen both locally and internationally that meets up the best. So to tell you that already they have mapped out Biafra 
from the from the meeting from the peace committee so in the committee there is no biafra person already they have you know they have let biafra go i want you people to understand that after this broadcast today they are going to bring a whole pose of the mass stage to come to their meeting next i'm mark my word and I'll cut this video because it is going to happen and somebody said odetola is the only yoruba man there you have identified odetola can you identify okechuku can you identify uh, uh Bonna? no you cannot identify another person but the odetola is there but i'm telling you today the biafra people has been excluded just the way we want it and so you can't have you can't have a peace committee where only Odetola will be there to represent what, what Odetola, Odetola is a businessman. These are the people making Nigeria. What does Odetola know about leadership? Business is business and, and, uh, and uh, you know, leadership is leadership. You know, in Nigeria, once you have money and then you can mingle with the politician and all that, you will be part of decision. If they knock, uh, if they do like this, they ring the bell, you run. They say, come, come and be part of it. Because he has money. Has money does not mean that you know how to give policies for leadership, or governmental leadership. If not, all the business people in the world will be, they will be advising the president of their country. Okay? <laughs> you know? So people like uh, Alan Mox or whatever he's called, and they will be in, a, they will be in the White House. There will be the there will be the committee, there will be the committee of uh, of finance of America. Nigeria is a complete shit, more than shit whole country. Where if you have money, you have brain. If you have money, they respect you. What is who is Odetola? What what is the portfolio of Odetola to be part of anything committee, peacemaking committee? What is his profile? What has he done? You know. Uh, professional wise not uh, i'm not talking about business he has money or not. no what has he done i'm telling you now what they are trying to tell you uh, somebody say odetola is not there but you know somebody saw something like somebody like odetola i saw somebody like odetola so and uh, somebody said odetola is not there let me go back and show you i saw somebody like him i saw somebody like him uh, one moment. Here, this person here. Is this person talking with uh, uh, Kuka, Bishop Kuka? Is he not a detola? This person here, is he not a detola? Here. This person here, is he? Is he, a de is he not a detola? Yes, that is him. Well, <laughs> some people say he's not him. Some people say he's him. So let's go back. <laughs> so you say that this is not a, a detola. They say he looks like him. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph John, thank you very much. Super chat. We are with you, brother. Ibu man is not there. <laughs> okay, but so let us um, let us confirm this. Is this Odetola or not Odetola? <laughs> it's Odetola or Odete Odetola. <laughs> we don't know which one. You cannot blame me. Am I a Yoruba person? Is it Odetola or Odetola or which one? That is Otedola. <laughs> okay, that is Otedola. All right. Somebody says, so we have actual whether it is him or, or not him or it doesn't matter. Uh -huh. But if you look there, you are going to also see somebody that looks like Dankote. I don't know whether this is Dankote. This man looks like Dankote. It may not be Dankote because this one looks more older. <laughs> This is this is Otedola anyway. As I, this is Otedola, so I have seen the face. 
Like Dankote, is that not Dankote? Is this person not Dankote? This person is he not Dankote? <laughs> is he? Uh, please, can you all confirm that this is Dankote too? Ah, <laughs> uh, not Dankote. They say it's not Dankote. Okay, let us go back. This person here is he not Dankote? Somebody say it's not Dankote. Let us go back. The person that is greeting, the person that is greeting uh, Sultan of Sokoto now, you say it's not Dangote? Uh, um, the meeting we have just had is uh, in, uh, in incorporating new members to bring more and new uh, ideas, uh, revitalize the Nigerian peace committee and especially looking forward to the february 2023 election how we can make it peaceful for everybody and how the election can be seen both locally and internationally that you see you see I want you people to understand one very thing. I want you people to understand one thing. We need to refresh. I want you people to understand one thing, okay? When you look at these people, you will find out that they are here telling you how they want election to be peaceful. They are talking about peaceful election. These people have not ever gathered one day to discuss about peaceful Nigeria, but it's about peaceful election. And all the people you see here are those who uh, who claim their own business, you know, monopoly, and they are now having a meeting how to make peace to protect their business interest. It is only there. You see, all the people they brought there are the people that they are giving money, is money laundering, they loot money, give to them, put in their business, and you will never know. You don't know what this uh, dang all of them are doing. That's, that's how they make their money. You know, all this general, you see, all their money, all their money they are, is in Dangote and all these people's uh, business. They will loot the money, put in their business. You wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. You wouldn't know where the money come from. It's a business. They are all businessmen. <laughs> we know all these things. We know how they make their money. So this Abacha, Abacha billions and billions of uh, hundred and millions of uh, dollars that you are seeing that are being repatriated from Switzerland are from America. You think if it is if you think if he, if a butcher had put that money in a Dangote to go and put in his business, you are going to know. You will not know. You will not. You will not know now. If a butcher had given Dangote, do you know? Do you know how much uh, you know Dangote has uh, made from a butcher? If Dangote that money, the entire money we have put into Dangote's account, you wouldn't know. Only the family of. Uh, a butcher will be, you know, you know, will be owning share of Dankote Group. You wouldn't know. <laughs> so that is what is happening. So mm -hmm. most of all these people is that 
all they are struggling now is to protect their business business interests. They thought that if Nigeria go now, uh, in Nigeria break now, their business is gone. But they don't know that their business is not gone. Their business is still there. The only thing is the one in the north, you know how to handle it. The one in the Biafra land, you know how to handle it. The one in your land, you know how to handle it. So they are scared of the Nigeria breakup. So they are fighting. When do you see them coming together and talk of peace? It's not because of your interest. No. It's not because they want the best for you. No. Have you ever seen them come together to talk about the killing in Nigeria? Have you ever see, come to, see them come together to come and talk about military bombardment in Kaduna? Have you ever come see them coming together to discuss why would Nigeria military efforts go and start bombing villages, bombing innocent people in the name of fighting bandit? Have you ever heard anything like that? It does, you can't see that. No, you can't see it. But they are coming together for election. They are coming together to tell you they want peace in election. They have not come together to tell you they want peace in Nigeria. They have not come together to say we want peace in the Southeast. They have not come together to say we want peace in the North. They have not come together to tell you we want peace in Middle Belt, where Fulani are butchering people. They have never discussed that for the past eight years. There is no peace committee on how to stop Fulani killing. But when it comes to election, that is when they are going to come out. We want election to be peaceful. But they don't want Nigeria after election to be peaceful. <laughs> so after election, the peace committee will go into hiding, waiting for their, their, their killer squad to take over Nigeria. During the election, they jump out to make it peaceful. After the election, they go back and hide. And then Nigeria will be dying in their hundreds. And that cannot continue anymore. You see, we are not fools. We have told them several times, Biafra will open the gate of hell. To Nigeria. I am telling you the fact. So let us go and, and listen to the garbage coming out from their mouth. Meets of the best practice in the world. And what we as the Nigerian Peace Committee want to do is to see how we can encourage Nigerians to be peaceful and how we can work together to get the best leadership for our country come 2023 onward. Thank you. So the essence of this meeting is to arrange for the signing of peace accord for free and fair uh, campaign. This time around, we are preparing to have two signing of the uh, accord. One is for the presidential candidates, sometimes in general. That is, to, that is how to know who, who all these wicked people. Have you ever seen them bringing the Fulani killers, all those killers that are killing people all over Nigeria, bringing them, say, come, sign peace accord that no Fulani will carry AK-47 again to kill anybody. You can't see them do that because their primary objective is to take over Nigeria and turn Nigeria into Islamic State. And we are the last bus stop of these people. Believe me. And it is going to happen next year. No worry. To sign an accord that they will accept the result of the election if they feel it is free and fair. This time around, we are going to introduce the signing of another peace accord for the... Uh, free and fair campaigning. We were graciously invited by the chairman of the National Peace Committee, our respected former head of state, His Excellency General Abdul Salami Abu Bakr. We briefed the National Peace Committee on preparations for the 2023 general elections, which is only 156 days away from today. We also expressed our appreciation to the Peace Committee for devolving their intervention beyond the national elections to the off-season governorship elections, beginning with the Edo governorship elections, and all through until the last two governorship elections in uh, Ekiti and Oshun. In addition to that, the National Peace Committee is also um, taking a giant step by inviting all the candidates and the chairman of political parties to commit to peaceful campaign ahead of the elections. 
Remember that the campaign proper will begin going by the timetable and schedule of activities released by the Commission on the 28th. And so it's appropriate that on 29th, the parties and candidates will commit to peaceful uh, campaign and thereafter also commit to peaceful elections. So that's in essence what we came uh, to brief the National Peace Committee on. Thank you very and much. Your Excellency, are you sorry, sir. Are you okay? Can I ask the question? How prepared the Commission for the conduct of free? No, we are prepared for the Commission. Remember, when we release the timetable and schedule of activities for the election, we identified 14 activities beginning from the publication of notice for the election to the election day proper. And so far, we have successfully implemented eight out of the 14 activities. So we are, we are good to go. We are what role do you want the mass media to play towards the success of the fourth committee of election? The same role that we have always pleaded that the mass media should play. Um, speak to the candidates, um, speak to the political parties, speak to all those concerned to turn down the rhetoric and to focus on issue-based campaigns. We need focus on issue-based campaigns. Thank you very much. If you listen to the people that... If you listen to all the people that spoke there, they are all northerners. They are all Fulanese. The Agwai is from Kaduna. This is the... What is the name of this one? Is it the Jega or something? I don't know. <laughs> You know, what is the name of this one? You know, the one that just spoke now. Then Abdul Salabi Abubakar. All of them are not an ass. You did not see no single Biafran there. But like I said, I know that after this particular broadcast today, they are going to bring in one Biafra from Imo State. From Hopos of Demas Village. Yakubu Dogora. Thank you very much. Yakubu uh, Dogora. Now, let us go to another one that will also break your heart. If you go to the Enter Biafra, uh, enterbiafra.com, there is a breaking which we've just posted about the NNPC. So I'm going to bring it to the screen to show you one thing that will shock you. NMPC is now fully a property of Usman Danfodio children. Congratulations, Arewa. Let us go there. NMPC is now the property of Usman Danfodio. Meleye Kairi, GMD. Umar Ajayi, Chief Finance Officer, Finance and Accountant. Yusuf Usman, Chief Operating Officer. Farouk Garba, Chief Operating Officer, Corporate Services. Mustafa Yakubu, Chief Operating Officer, Refining and Petrochemicals. Hadiza uh, Kumasi, Corporate Secretary, Legal Advisor to the Corporation. This is NMPCO, where they are giving Tompolo the cont contract to guide pipeline. Omar Ibrahim, Group General Manager, International Energy Relations. Kalamu Abdullahi, GGM, Renewable Energy. Ibrahim Bima, GGM, Governance, Risk and Compliance. Bala Wunti, GGM, Napims, Inuwa Waya, MD, NMPC Shipping. Musa Lawan, MD, Pipelines and Product Marketing. Manso Sambo, MD, Nigeria Petroleum Development Company. Lawa Sade, MD, Duke Oil NMPC Trading Company. Malami Shehu, MD, Port Harcourt Refining Company. I am showing you now the people that own NNPC while the people in the Greek are now fighting each other to protect the oil uh, pipeline. Mohamed Abba, MD, Warren Refining and Petrochemical Company. Abdul Kadri Ahmed, MD, Nigeria Gas Marketing Company. Salihu Jamari, MD, Nigeria Gas Power Investment Company Limited. Mohamed Zango, MD, NMPC Medical Services. Sariki Awu, Director, Department of Petroleum Resources. 
it is confirmed. It is confirmed. You people do not know what Fulani have done. And that is the reason why we are going to leave them next year. Now, when they make this whole thing, they now give Tompolo one billion whatever contract and he will start killing his people, those who want to oppose him. He will start killing them. And after killing them, if you talk, they say they want to be guiding oil pipeline. Why Fulanese are taking care of everything that they have. I want you to listen to this. You have President Northwest Muslim. You have Senate President Northeast Muslim. You have INEC chairperson. Now, I am bringing this in addition to what you have just heard me reading how they have taken over the NNPC while the pipeline guide are killing each other in the Greek. Not Northwest West Muslim. Muslim, you have Speaker of the House of Representatives, Southwest Muslim, you have Chief of Air Staff, Northeast Muslim, Minister of Defense, Muslim North, Chief of Army Staff, Northeast Muslim, Inspector General of Police, North Central Muslim, National Security Advisor, Northeast Muslim, Director, uh, National Intelligence Agency, Muslim North, uh, Director General, SSS, Northwest Muslim. Controller General of Immigration, Northwest Muslim. Controller General of Customs, not Muslim. Controller General of uh, Civil Defense, Muslim North. Controller General of uh, Nigeria Immigration uh, Prison Service, Muslim North. Acting Chairman of EFCC, Northeast Muslim. Chief Justice of the Federation, Northeast Muslim. Code of Conduct Head, Muslim Northeast. Managing Director Post Authority, Northwest Muslim, Nimasa, North Muslim, NNPC Managing Director, Northeast Muslim, Minister of Education, Northeast Muslim, National Universities Commission, Northwest Muslim, Jam, Southwest Muslim, and so on and so forth. We can keep on going on, on and on. Someone has said that the top 20 positionings in NNPC is uh, occupied from the same region as well. Did you hear that? He said, somebody have said that top 20 position in the NNPC is occupied by the same people from the same region and I have just come to show you today. <laughs> you know our own is they do it, they show. NHS said, let, hear, let us hear him again. And, and so, so on, on and, so, and so, so forth. We can, we can keep, keep on going, going on, 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 on and on. Someone, Someone has said that the top, top 20, 20 positions in NNPC, NNPC is, is a, occupied from, from the same region, region as, well. as well. Someone have said that 20 position from the NNPC is occupied by the same people of the same region as well. And today we have come to prove to you that yes, indeed, there are 20 positions occupied by the same people from the same region as well. And that is what you are seeing here on the screen. 20 positions from 1 to 20 is occupied by the same people from the same region. And the number 20 is what you are seeing here, Sariki Awalo, Director Department of Petroleum. You understand? Our own is we they do it the show. So I want you to hear again Pastor Enenche saying it. Somebody have said that 20 person from the oil, from the region is in charge of the oil NMPC. Listen. Jam, Jam Southwest, Southwest Muslim. Muslim. And, and so, so on, on and, so, and so, so forth. We can, we can keep, keep on, on going, going on, on, on and on. on. Someone, Someone has said that the top, top 20, 20 positions in NNPC is, is uh, occupied from, from the same region, region as, well. as well. And we have proven it to you today. Joy Nadozia, I know that. <laughs> Joy Nadozia, thank you very much for your super chat. This exposition really, really touched you. 
Manzi, ba umuku koto. <laughs> Tomorrow, all the intellectuals from Southeast will come out to rat when decision has been made on their behalf in their absence. Nderi neri that want to ruin our life. Exactly. Thank you very much, Joy. Nadozie. That is why we are here. And so that is why when we are making some of the decisions we are making, especially on no election in Biafra land, and by extension, we are not going to have allow Nigeria to have the election in peace in their own territory because they still continue to hold on. We are going to fight with them at the end of the day. So we are not going to allow them to have the election in peace until they give us, until they allow us to go, either after fighting or during the fight or before the fight. That is what we are making very clear. So it is for you to know the, the, you know, the impunity that Nigeria can never ever work again. And now I've been able to show you very important issues. One is the peace committee. There is no Igbo man. There is no Biafra man there. Two is the NNPC. There is nobody in the NNPC and not from any Biafra. And one thing is that I don't know whether this um, Tompolo uh, uh, contract is not official. <laughs> because, you know, I don't know whether all this uh, contract is not official. The contract should be official. At least so that his name will be number 21. Oil pipeline guard. Contract. Oil pipeline guard. Government Akpamudio Tompolo. NMPC oil pipeline guide. At least, you know, at least when people search, search in the internet, when people search in the internet, at least, you know, it gives them some kind of respect. Not, not the back door in the file of contract. Let them put Tompolo's name there as a kind of respect, at least before Nigeria break away next year. So that it will go in the history of the NMPC. That somebody like Tom Polo was, you know, was once, uh, you know, hold a position in NMPC. Because it will be a very bad thing that Nigeria will break up next year. And with all this contract, it doesn't reflect anywhere in the, in the company's uh, profile, you know. So I don't know whether I'm making sense. Is it, is it not official? It is official. The government approved Tompolo, give Tompolo billions and billions of naira to guard pipeline. And I want to tell you people today, you know, some of them, the reason why they give Tompolo this amount of money, you know, in contract is because of Biafra. Some of you don't know that. It is because of Biafra, the momentum the Biafra agitators and agitation have gathered today. You don't know that. Some of you don't know. If you see people trooping out in Abuja to support P2B, it's not because P2B is sent. No. I am telling you, P2B is worse that, that is, none of these people contesting for president is worth supporting. I am very sincere. Not Atiku, not P2B, not uh, Tinubu, none of them is worth, is worth supporting. But let me tell you, People will troop out from Abuja to support P2B only because of the only support you see P2B getting today is because of the momentum that the Biafra have gathered. <laughs> you know, and P2B knows this very well. It is because of the momentum, it is because of what we are doing and what we are going to do. So they say, ha. Instead of this, let us support this man. No, this Biafra it is getting momentum. No? Let us make sure we sacrifice everything for this man. But then they are going to fail because not even a single vote will be casted in Biafra territory. I am telling you. And if you listen to this, some, some of the stupid people, they say, oh, leave them. Leave Obi. Uh, just leave Obi. Let him go and fail. And so that after he fail, we will come back. I am not a coward like you. I am not somebody that doesn't plan. I plan. And I'm following it. Some of you are very, very idiotic people. You fail in everything you do in life. You cannot make a decision and stand on it and stand by it. 
you can't decide anything for yourself for yourself you know and then you, you people are pushing you around i am not the kind of person you can push around so when i hear this kind of excuses oh leave it leave him don't worry nigeria happened to him he will come back and start shouting biafra i don't have that time to waste I don't have that time. And let me tell you, I have been able to identify that if we miss next year, it will be very difficult for Biafra to come. And because we already know the date Biafra will come. And for that reason, we are not backing down. You know, sometimes when I say I know the date Biafra will come, I always be saying this. Some of them will say, oh, if you know the date, Biafra will come. Why are we still fight? Why are we still fighting? Why are we wasting our time? Just wait until that day. You are an idiot. These are the people that doesn't know anything. Of course, I know the day Biafra will come. Something has to be done until that day. Because I know the date Biafra will come is the reason why I am putting everything I have to make sure we cover everything we need to cover before that date. Because I know the day Biafra will come is the reason why I'm shouting every day to make sure that we cover every plan we have before that day comes. Because I know the day Biafra will come is the reason why we have now beginning to put more effort and more fire so that the momentum will be very, very high. Because without that momentum, without that fire, that day, if that day comes, it becomes a problem. So you are not going to know the date. The date is for us alone and for those who know it. So when the day come, you will sleep and you are going to wake up in Biafra. And when you wake up in Biafra, you go open your door, everywhere will be dry. You open your window, everywhere will be dry. You close it again and you begin to make calls. And the day is coming. I want to inform you today that we have less than 160 days for us to stop Nigeria from conducting election in Biafra land. 160 days. Are you aware of that? You don't know now. We have entered the most dangerous phase of the Biafra liberation. We understand also, I want to send a message to, to the DSS about our leader. I want DSS to know that we know the plan and we know what they are doing to our leader. I want DSS to know that we are aware that each time Mazin Namdi cannot come to visit people or people come to visit him, that is their plan and if they have not started it, they are going to go to the room and they will spread some chemical and they spread poisonous chemical. And when Mazen Namdi Kano come back to that room, he will begin to inhale that chemical, and that chemical is now affecting him, damaging his system. I want the DSS to know that we know all these things. The reason why some of us are behaving the way we are behaving is that we are calculating. We are calculating. The judgment day is coming for those who kidnap our people and kill them. For those who kidnap our people and incarcerate them. Judgment day is coming. <laughs> I am telling you, we are not moved. The judgment day for Nigeria terrorists is coming. So, but don't think that we don't know what you are doing. Don't think that we are not aware that you are spreading the poisonous chemical in the cell of Mazin Amdikano. And when he comes back after, his, after the visit, he will begin to inhale those things. And now it is affecting him. Do not think we don't know. But let me tell you, I will not say if anything happened to Mazin Amdikano, we are going to do this and do that. No. Because something is already happening to him. Something is already happening. So if I come here and say, oh, if something happened to Mazin Amdikano, you are going to do this and do that. 
we are bringing water water that is all Mazin Namdekanu said he is going to bring hell with him to Nigeria today he is in Nigeria do you think Mazin, when Mazin Namdekanu was saying he is going to bring hell with him to Nigeria you think he was going to board a plane and land in Nigeria Oh, you actually believe the Mazin Namdekanu is going to buy a ticket and land in Nigeria and then he will say, DSS, come and arrest me in the airport like he did in 2015. Come and arrest me in the airport. I have come. Arrest me. And let me tell you, I have brought hellfire with me. You think he's going to do that? No. He's not going to do that. But let me tell you, he knows that one day he may end up in Nigeria. And any day he end up in Nigeria, he will bring hell with him. And that is what is going to happen. That hell for Biafra to be free, we will bring it. <laughs> God. My only problem is that a lot of people, a lot of people don't see things in the spirit. And this Biafra struggle is more of a spiritual thing. If you are not in the spirit, you will do a lot of mistakes. I am telling you. Just like so many people have made a lot of mistakes today. Just like so many people have been misled into making a very great, grave mistake that it is almost impossible for them to retract and come back and correct the mistake they have made. It's very difficult for them. It's very difficult. When you hear them say, oh, Simon, you see, I watch some of them. They say the problem they have with Simon is because Simon is overspeeding. Overspeeding is allowed. Overtaking is allowed. The question is, are you going to maintain your speed? If you can maintain your speed, come and overtake me. Because me, my acceleration is till Biafra flag and the independent is announced. My speed is not going down anytime soon. I am accelerating. I am still, I am just accelerating. I am telling you the fact. The speed of this autopilot is not going down anytime soon until the Biafra is restored. So I wonder where people will say the problem they have with Simon, Simon is overspeeding, is running too fast, is running this and running that. I am not that particular person that they say slow and steady. No. You're not talking about me. You're not talking about me. I am firing in all cylinder. I am firing in all cylinder. And I want you people to understand that Mazin Namdi Kano said he is going to come to Nigeria and he will bring hell with him. <laughs> Nigeria being a very, very, uh, you know, lunatic country, country that uh, that is, you know, uh, you know, country that is, uh, you can't do anything without being without being a mad person. So we have come, and let me tell you, people. I come across, I come across Wazrike's video and i commend him i commend him <laughs> i commend him you know for for you know admitting and uh, saying the truth he said he have done this biafra for many years and he has not achieved anything and so if somebody is coming to do something different why will he be against that person? So I commend him for that. Because it takes courage for somebody to say such thing. So I'm going to show you the video, whether the video of uh, <laughs> I want to show you, I want to show you people one thing, you know. <laughs> Sometime, this uh, this uh, Biafra awareness we are making uh, is uh, sometime you have to have fun. <laughs> 
okay <laughs> so i want to show you people a video that you know tells you all you need to know about nigeria okay and, and we can't have this for land i want you to understand how insecure nigeria is how insecure everybody is living in panic now watch this When you see such videos, you thought it's just a, a joke, you know, or maybe a comedy. No, it is not. People are actually running for their life just because somebody say they are coming. You do not need to know what is coming. You do not need to know why the person, the thing is coming. Just, you know, something is coming, you know, everybody will run. Because the next thing is that bullet hit you, that is your end. Nobody can ask questions. Thank you, Anthony. Great. Good evening, MSA. Please, are we gonna sit a, set a panel of investigation looking to people that have been killed by Otapia Pia? Yes, we are going to set investigative panel, and uh, we are working on that. Yes, we are working on that. We have some list of people that have killed the Otapia Pia people, so we know, and we know who killed them. Uh, so, so I want you people to understand this. So, when you are looking at this. You see, this is Nigeria. This is exactly what Nigeria is. Okay? You don't need to know what is going on. You don't need to know why they are running. You don't need to know any of those. Just run. Otherwise, you are going to be killed. And once you are killed, you are gone. So let us watch. Somebody say, somebody say, is a prank. Is a prank. You see, this is the problem. You say it's a prank. You are thinking that it is actually a prank. Somebody is telling you, you know, in a very comic way, how insecured your life is in your country. And you say it's a prank. 
Can you go to US and just run and just tell somebody, oh, they are coming you know, and you run, and somebody is going to run to follow you? No. But let me tell you, if you carry a bomb, if you carry a bag like this in America, if you carry a bag and throw it and say bomb, oh, people will run. People will run. But if you are just running and say, oh, they are coming, you know, who the hell is going to listen to you? Or is it where in Finland you come and start running in the street and somebody, everybody in the street will run? They are not used to that. This is a prank that is telling you the reality of life in Nigeria. This is a prank that tells you how insecure you are. This is a, re a real life. It is not a prank. Because actually, people run. Somebody say a prank are uh, usually arranged. Ibuano, Ibuano man. Do you know how many times we all have run in Lagos? <laughs> Do you know how many times? Me, man, me, me that is talking here. All of us we are we are part of this. Not not prank running. You know. When did prank start? Prank started yesterday now in Nigeria. In those days, go to Lagos now. You see how people are running. <laughs> this guy is oh oh this these are the the Nigeria Itibori boss. You know, if you are telling if you are trying to teach them, they will be doing they will be showing you brain. Prank is arranged, prank is arranged. I'm telling you reality of life. You are telling me prank is arranged. Which arranged? Prank is arranged. It's a prank. But I'm telling you in reality, you run in Lagos. Even you that is talking this rubbish. Go to Lagos tomorrow, you know, somebody will run. You are going to run, and it is not a prank. All of us have run it. We have been a victim of this running. Nobody that is living in Lagos today that will say, if you have lived in Lagos for five years, you cannot live in Lagos for five years and you have not been a victim of running. So some of these people always come here to talk in defense of Nigeria. They are the real idiot. Because when I talk, I talk from experience. I'm not coming here to tell you stories. So all of us, some of us, myself, I have been victim of running in Lagos. Everybody is running in Lagos. Once you hear Pakam, <laughs> once you hear Pakam, some people, <laughs> some, some people develop uh, even flying wing. <laughs> okay? Some people fly. In the street of Lagos, if you see the way, if you see the way they are jumping, the 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 um, the uh, what is it? The gutter, the sewage, the lagoon. You be, <laughs> you, you some of them don't know they are they are very good uh, high jump and long jumpers. <laughs> to, bah, like this, <laughs> even when I am telling you, even when people are playing, you know. When two people are playing and they run brrr, before, <laughs> before everybody will pick race. I am telling you, it's terrible. Do you know when the when the bomb blast uh, happened in a, in a, in a Ikeja cantonment, people did not die because bomb killed them. <laughs> are you people aware of that? Let me give this, let me even give this person, uh, uh, you know, because sometimes when we are teaching, you listen to, you listen to voice of experience and wisdom. People that thousands or even, I don't know how many thousand that died during the during the uh, Abuja cantonment bomb blast many years ago. How many years was that? When was that? Who can remember the time that a bomb exploded in Ikeja? Who, uh, who, uh, who, which year was that? That was many years ago. People died. They died because they, were, they ran into a lagoon and they couldn't come out. They didn't die because bomb hit them. Which year was that? Which 2001? Thank you very much. 2001. 2001. People is 2001 or 2008. People ran into lagoon and they died. I am telling you. I don't think the bomb killed anyone, except those who may be close. To where the bomb exploded and all that bomb did not kill people in ikeja it was the lagoon they ran into they couldn't come out again 
So why would somebody be running? When the thing was exploding, boo, 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 people was, they, nobody knew what was going on. Everybody started running. And they couldn't even remember where the, where the lagoon is and where the lagoon is not. They had to run and everybody was inside lagoon. And you know lagoon, you can't swim. It is, you know, swamp. They all died inside the swamp in, Ike, in Ikeja. It was terrible. So why would somebody come here and be telling me uh, a prank is arranged? Which arranged? Prank is arranged, we agree. But it is, it is replicate the reality in life of Nigeria. So I want you people to understand that if you do not follow us to destroy Nigeria by next year and restore Biafra, Nigeria will destroy you. That I am telling you the fact. Nigeria will destroy you. Now we are going to bring to you the video of of um, of um, of um, what is the name um, Wazurike. Wazurike. Number, Number two, two. no, no Igbo man, man is contesting for president or asking to be president. All these people they are seeing are pretenders. They can't come to me. Why? Because they know that I know them. I know that they are pretenders. No Igbo man is contesting for president. Take it now or leave it. Let them swear all of them that they are not going to the north to lobby for vice president. People have called me from the north. Telling me, even he post, that what they are discovering now is that uh, those who are clamoring, saying they want to be president from uh, Igbo land, are the ones asking to be given uh, vice presidential uh, 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 slots. I laughed and asked them. I know them. So none of them, I swear, none of these people you are supporting today to be president is actually angling for presidency. They are all looking for vice president. All of them, from A to Z, I challenge them. They are pretenders. They can fool you people. They can't fool me. I have been around for over 20 years. I have been meeting them. I have been with them. I know them. They know that I know them more than they know themselves. They are just deceiving you people. By the end of this month, you will realize what I have told you. That they are not looking for that. One of them, when I not an the other day was declaring uh, for the for 2023 election to be president. One of them went to him, went to his declaration, and even said that the person who, uh, is his boss. I don't want to mention them, but you know them. If you are actually contesting for president mm -hmm. and you went to the declaration of another aspirant to say that uh, he is your boss, that will show you that he's not reliable. He does, he's deceiving himself. So, I can't follow such people. I can't follow such people. They are just maneuvering your people. I have been with them. Ojuku, Chief Chakwasu, and I helped to make one of them the governor of Anambra State. What did he use to pay us? What? The first thing he did. He kicked off Chopa Sokode with his group. Number two, he killed Masob members, those who worked for him. Killed many of them, thousands of them, and dumped them in the Zoo River. The third thing he did, when Ojuku was sick, when Ojuku had the very first soak, this governor refused to bring money. We begged him to bring money to kill, to take Ojuku as he refused. Ojuku had the second stroke. We, we controlled pursuing him to bring, persuading him to bring that money. He never did it until the matter got worse. Ojuku was rushed to UNTH and was put on, uh, on the machine. 
oxygen. He never came. He was no at the farm for so many weeks. The situation got worse. The day he came to uh, Enugu University Teaching Hospital, I saw him. He saw I was red. I asked him, come, come and see the man that made you the governor. He's lying lifeless there. He said he wouldn't go. That he doesn't want to see, uh, to see him. I said, why? He took me aside to the corner. He said, Ralph, you know, for the past four days now, I visited this person after going home. He died. I visited the other person after going home. Who was sick? After going home, he died. He narrated four people. That he, he was afraid if he visited Ojuku now, Ojuku may, may die if he leaves the, this hospital. I asked him, what do we do now? Because there is no money. He said, okay, ambulance will come tomorrow. Ambulance will come tomorrow to take him to, to London. The next day, ambulance came at Enugu Air Force Base. When Ojuku was brought out, he was almost not there. Ojuku died few days in London. If money had been brought out by this fellow at the appropriate time, Ojuku would have, would have been alive today. I know all these people, more than all this uh, internet rats making noise. Has any politician, evil politician, supported their friends struggle before? What, what, why, why is it my obligation to support them? I started this struggle in 1999. Since 1999, death has any Nigerian uh, uh, Igbo politician come out openly to support Biafra. It was only Ojuku that came out to say, I support Owasrike. In, in, uh, 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 in a magazine. And because of that, Obasanjo summoned him to Abuja. All of you know all these things. Are you people hearing? You know, the point is that me, what we do is that, you know, no matter who the person is, once you speak the truth, we are going to tell you. The question this man asks here, since you are shouting this Biafra, 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 has any politician, any, come publicly to support you? The answer is no. He is right. Nobody. Not even the OB. Nobody. And that is why we are going to deal with them. When the time comes, I am telling you the fact. We are not hiding it. Who will deal with them? None of them ever has opened their mouth to support Biafra. And that you cannot, you don't expect them to support Biafra. They will never. In fact, they will be the last people that will ever support so they not Biafra because they will not. We getting Biafra is not depending on whether the politicians are supporting us or not for those who we because what they'll tell you is oh how many of your leaders are supporting you how many of your well abaribe yes abaribe uh, abaribe is not actually supporting biafra as such abaribe is only supporting the agitation and supporting the agitators you know because of fair uh you know uh, in fairness and equity Abaribe is not supporting Biafra. I am telling you, have you seen? Abaribe is not so don't don't uh, don't uh, mistake that. Abaribe, Abaribe have not come publicly to support Biafra. Abaribe is supporting agitators based on fairness and equity, but not give us Biafra. He has not done that. But of course, his, his attitude and his, his support for agitation is a welcome development. But he has not supported Biafra. Even if you see Abaribe in a in Zoom meeting where he talk, he talk, he's still talking about how to make Nigeria this, how they are planning how Igbos will do this, how they can become uh, something in Nigeria, how the marginalization. So, so he is still talking, you know, about Nigeria. So he is defending and talking about agitators because of the injustice. He believes marginalization is there. He believes there, there should be fairness. That is why he is talking. So he's not talking about Biafra. I want people to understand this very well. Separate the two. I want to see, I want someone to challenge me that this politician has supported Biafra struggle before. 
So why why must the 2023 presidential race be the the, the the ground that will bring all of us together? For me to support somebody that neglected me and neglected the entire Biafran struggle, never told me he was coming out, never told anybody, then he'll be the person I will support. For what? Who is he? I can't. And besides, he's not even fighting for, uh, for fighting to be president. He's fighting to be vice. He can fool all of you. They can't fool me. I know them. More than all of you. Many of them who are politicians today, I contributed to their success in politics. So they can't tell me rubbish. You are talking about uh, what we can accept them money because it's what you do. Well, this is not uh, this is not the video that uh, I wanted to play anyway. But this is a this is a good video as well. The video I wanted to play is the video where Wazrike is saying that he. Uh, have have uh, been struggling for Biafra for 20 years and there is nothing to show for it. So that is the video I am looking for and uh, hopefully I'm going to find it for a moment. One moment. One moment. Some of these videos, when they come, Okay, not this one. Anyway, so Wazrike uh, made a video of uh, of him where he was uh, saying that uh, he has suffered for over 20 years and there is nothing to show for it. So, um, and uh, I can't find that video now. But anyway, I'm going to play the video maybe tomorrow or so so that some of you will understand uh, what we're talking about. It's very important that when somebody do something, you show it for the entire world to see, and then also uh, learn their lesson from there. Um, moment. All right. If I can find it, then we are going to continue. We have just a few minutes left. And I want you people to understand that uh, the, uh, the uh, sit at home uh, on the 7th of October 2022 uh, must be uh, shared to go viral in entire Biafra, where we are going to, uh, in remembrance of the um, Asaba massacre. The, our people that was killed in Asaba during after the immediately after the war, uh, or during the war, uh, we are going to remember them on the seventh of of October. And that seventh of October is Friday. Biafra land will be under lock and key. And you know what Friday is? Friday, This time we are going to lock our land. To remember our people that were butchered in Asaba. So Friday, the first sit at home that will be in, on Friday ever in Biafra land to show our readiness to leave Nigeria. So those who are going to be going to Poishala will know that they don't own our land, that we own our land. And for that reason, for the very first time, 
we are going to send a very powerful message to those who think they have, they have conquered our land. On Friday is the day they go to Poishala. And this coming Friday, which is on the 7th of October, will be the first ever sit at home on Friday. To remember, thousands of people massacred and murdered in Asaba by Nigeria State. We are going to start program on the 5th. The program will run from the 5th to 6th and 7th. And that 7th is going to be on Friday. And that Friday, Biafra land will be under lock and key. We are going to declare, we have already declared a ghost town. So I want to, I want this thing to go viral so that people will understand that we are going to remember our people that were killed in Asaba. That Asaba massacre, we can never forget. Asaba is Biafra. And Biafra is Asaba. On this note, I'm going to open the phone. I'm going to take calls for a few people. From few people, and I'm going to close because I have been, uh, you know, in a series of meetings today, and I am a little bit tired. So, but I promise to take calls because somebody already raised the issue. As I promised to take calls, so I'm going to take like five calls, five to five to six or seven calls, and uh, so uh, the line is open for you. All right, here we go. Welcome to the program. Good evening from here. You have one. You have one and a half minutes, please. Go ahead. Yes, I miss you so much. So, like my daughter, I literally for you to say water, water. I mean, in a long time, you never shout water, water. You understand? I mean, <laughs> yeah. So, thank you so much. I have been so I cannot. I cannot hear you. I cannot hear you. Watch it again. Uh, and I'm live. It's a good one at live. Mba, mba, I can put it live now. You want to talk? I'm going to come to you. I'm going to come to you on the volume. Go ahead. Yeah. Do you have a day, Wolo? We do the real novel. Actually, we do have a day. We do have a day. We do have a day. A Saba. We do have a land. Mana, we do have a Saba. Some people, we do have a day. We do have a confused. So, I want to make the opportunity to work as our people. I will only have what to work as Biafras. No way to hear data. I will work Nigeria. I will work Nigeria. As our Biafra. No matter how much you go, I will work in Nigeria. I will work in a full time call and the brought up in Biasa State. I am an indigenous Biasa. But it is a name of state. It is a name of state. That is a name of state. Biafra is Biafra. I don't know why people are narrating Biafra. This side will Biafra. The other side will our Biafra. I don't know what is going on. Mm. So, I'm going to have an opportunity to make the whole Biafra land. You go to the court of Biafra. Ah, I'm going to the court. You go 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 to the court. And this year, you go to the court. Delta State Biafra. The Calabar of Biafra. I don't know why Hana Hota and Biafra are the only Igbo speaking area. Mm. Biafra, Biafra in the diaspora, all these, uh, all these uh, people are as you are ever about Biafra. So they are just confusing themselves. As I do, Kubo, say the now with Biafra. But yeah, but about tomorrow, yeah, quite another thing <laughs> to show you that they are the one bringing confusion to this our people for yes. them not to know we belong to. Yes. But I want to let you know that. They are Biafras. And at the same time, I want to let them, the Biafras, to know that. Uh, yes. 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 
I I am get my name before me made it open. Omina with the Satan son, the only son of Satan. The only son of Satan. Uh, yes, that is me. That's my my name is the only son of Satan. The Mbewo. Satan son. Mbewo. So, uh, this, my 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 topic this night is that uh, <laughs> uh, military. Uh, military should you know they should resign and go and meet their wife and defeat them very well instead of coming out to die in the hands of uh, uh, unknown things what they what they, what they can't uh, know what uh, how is going on to yes so what water 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 I have never spoken online any any line before. I have never spoken on any internet line. Before. I am surprised. I am surprised. And I have never carried my lions and my dogs out on the street to to shoot or to kill any military. But as I talk to you right now, my last my last command is going to commence very soon. And if I come out, they are see, see, let me tell you, government has seen a name on them and men, and they are panicking. My brother, I am coming. I am the certain son. That is me. And there's some people that know me in those days before I leave in the planet where I came out now from to, to live on this planet of living. And why I came out here is because of the killings of the soldiers. Who mm. goes on them? Killings is now making me to cry. Even the devil is also crying hmm. because how people are dying. My father is not even happy. No matter the devil likes blood, but now devil will suck the blood of the enemies. Called all these evil you politicians. Say, you say. At, this, at the same time, I want to tell the Biafras not to panic because <laughs> their bomb is going to disappoint them. You say, the shelling of air is going to disappoint them. You say, I have never. I have to tell you, if I have, if I have killed any soldier, let me not see tomorrow, as it starts now. But as I talk to you right now, my last command is going to commence because the soldiers have been now doing it in a way that they want to cripple the land of Biafra, but it can happen. You let say, give them. I am going to give them. I water, give water. Them Water, water. Right now, that is how it's gonna be. I'm not I'm not We are going to stand in front and we are going to battle it to the last. Any moment from now, today's date is either 24 or 25th. But I am going to commence any moment from now. If you know that you're a soldier, you don't want to resign from this government because Nigeria have ended. They are using people sitting in their offices, giving you ammunition to go and be killed. But his assistance now, man that will kill you is on the way coming, and which is me, Satan's son. They have arrived. <laughs> water, water <laughs> to the enemy. <laughs> and another thing to you, um, I will do, I know. They will hear my voice if they're listening to your broadcast. That is, okay. that is, yes, I know, you know, of course, I am surprised that you want to talk, you want to talk here today. Yeah. So it's a privilege and, uh, and, uh, you know, I am just, uh, <laughs> I'm surprised. Yes. But Tom Polo, Tom Polo is my man. I want to use this opportunity to advise Tom Polo. You know, I'm a, let me not, I don't need the time. I would have heard, I'm an that you know something about Tom Polo and Dasari. What happened in those days? I know, they, they know me, but the time shall come when I was on face. And they would, they would, they would like wonder, wonder for have happened in the Biafra life. Because all men that knows me during the time of war in the River State, many of them think that I have died. Many of them think that I have died, but they don't know that I'm living in another planet where I find my rest, my resting time and the resting days. But as I shall face here on this living planet, this is going to happen very soon. You know, Imana, some people may also uh, recognize your voice. and uh, I, 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 Actually, actually, I don't care those that will recognize this voice. Yes. But I know the people that... No, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not talking, I'm, I'm only, I'm only saying that you know, of course, uh, those who have been looking for a way, uh, they know now that uh, uh, you have spoken yeah. <laughs> for the very first time ever in yeah. anywhere you have you you come online. Of course, the the, 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 the panic will start from now. 
this is my first time I've spoken. Yes. Let me tell you, I keep quiet all this while. I keep quiet. Not that uh, things can't happen. You know, things can never happen by itself. Human beings must carry things out to happen. Hmm? Yes. And with what what invested in me, brother, even really, really with the devil, any military man that will come and engage with me and my men, that military man should make sure now either that he eat with the devil first. If you do not eat with the devil physical, eat the devil eat. Hmm? Don't come. Don't come. I repeat it again, don't come. Because it's going to be shelling. It's going to be shelling upon shelling. What you have, men have it. Yeah, no, but what all, what all. Until Biafra is restored. The only remedy for this country, they should give us a referendum. They should release Mazi Mandit. I never even talk about Mazi Mandit. And I keep quiet. I am looking at what is going on. They are starving that man. If anything happened to Mazi Mandit, no matter any security outfit, Asari Jukubo, bring out. I am looking at those out. It's only my snapping of finger. Their head will be cutting off. Water, water to the enemy. Asari will be my first man to get down. Anywhere he is, I will give him only three men. And water, water to, to the enemy. As I speak to you, that is how it's going to be. Not today's day to what I told you. Biafra land is going to be under lock and key as you said it. And let me On Friday, you, 7th, to, 7th of I'm October. To, listen, I'm going to set up my own, my own holiday for Biafra, my own seat at home. Please, nobody should counter it because even you, Simon, <laughs> I, only say I announce my own uh, uh, seat at home to the respect of some of my gallant men that left this world to the other planet for them not to return back. Any day I, I publish that uh, seat at home, anybody that encounter it will have problem with me spiritually. Water, water I, to the enemy. Very soon after after meeting with my commanders, I will, I will still come up when it will start and I will let it know. And I will enforce it to the last. Any Biafran that violates it, I will make sure that that Biafran human being goes down. I don't send any human being because it's not getting out of hand. Nigerian government should go and they rethink themselves. And Hanez Ndigo should stand up to say something as he stands now. I have marked my red band in the room. And, and, uh, and uh, um, uh, all right, uh, General, thank you very much uh, for, for <laughs> giving this uh, honor to this platform, for speaking to the public for the very first time. You know, uh, a lot of people will not understand, but let us keep it here. And uh, those that uh, have heard your voice and who knows your voice will not understand that na uh, Thank you. Thank you for calling. Thank you, dear friends. All right. Siwe uh, Jirat, uh, and those who who are following, who they are giving a ticket and all that to buy data, you can now, they can tell you now this voice if they know it. And then you can go ahead and do some program with it. Welcome to the program. Hello, good evening, Mr. Simon. Well done. Good evening. I just want to appreciate you, the good work you've been doing. Thank you. And my contribution this evening is about what you said uh, concerning uh, onion to how DSS are spreading his um, where he sells his serum. Mm. I think um, for let us make this public for the whole world to know. You, let's tell. I uh, use your platform to tell the people to treat about it. Let it be public. Let everybody know so mm. that. It, it, let the whole world know what they are doing there in case of anything that happens to me. But we pray not to happen to you. Yes. We have to make it public. It's not something that should be hidden again. You can put it on your platform and ask people to treat it, and people on their own will equally treat about it. Yes. The reason why I've announced it this evening is that first, so they will understand we know what is going on. Okay? And. Uh, yeah. And so we'll continue to create that awareness for the DSS to know we know what they are doing. 
Yeah, and mm. if people put it on Facebook, Twitter, let let the whole world know, let it bubble in the in the social media for them to know that people know what they are doing. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Man. All right. Thank yeah, well, thank you. Yeah. All right. Uh, as we are progressing, we are moving. <laughs> as we are progressing, I know that a lot of people, a lot of people will shock this evening. You know. Uh, you know, from this color, you know, they are gonna be shocked, they are gonna be peed in their part, you know, but that's how we roll. So, welcome to the program. Hello, hello, you're welcome to the program. Uh, my name is Thank you very much for family, but very little tech to us. Go ahead. I'm happy to speak with you. For a long time, I want to speak with you, but if I want to go, I can't uh, get you. Yes, just go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, God, Yeah, 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 yeah. What I want to say is that uh, I'd like to speak to you after the program. I want to send a message to you because I already sent a message to you. You don't read my comments. So I want to send a message to you so that you can talk later, please. It's very important to me. Uh, but not, uh, you send a message, I will read it, but not this night. Because I will be very tired after this program. Okay, now I will send a message. Maybe I don't want you want me to send a message so that you can know that it's well. Okay. So, is, does it have to do with security? No, 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 no. no. It's uh, something that we already, we already speak with you for a long time. But, uh, okay. After that, I don't want to get you phone again. So uh, just good. send the message now, and I will. I will uh, after the program, like 10 minutes, you send the message, I will see it. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I will send message because right. my name is from Spain. Thank you. Okay, all right. All right, uh, you're welcome to the program. Good evening, Mazi. Good evening. There we There we are. I need to call you, Mazi. Mazi, please, there is something I wanted to draw your attention, right? Okay. Uh, remember uh, last time um, you make a position about uh, that man, Shatima, 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 mm. talking to, is it cool that Yoruba man? Yes. In, you remember in that audio, audio that cool, uh, that Shatima is telling the Yoruba man. That they will destroy our businesses. Yeah, they are going to give a record state uh, special treatment. Yes, uh, yes, I know, yes. You see that they have started this thing now. You see the, the another law that goes to bring out now that everybody that park in the house will be, will be paying tax. Are you serious? You understand? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And if you find out now, they are doing that in because of we therefore because that law is not in other states. Yes. You, you understand? Mm. They are all that in there. That thing that you exposed that day, they are putting everything in practice now. Are you serious? So they are collecting money now yeah. for a car? Well, let them, let, well, let them, let them uh, put it in now. We are going home next year now. And, and, and again, Mazi, I, I want to ask you, please, because I was watching uh, um, um, Solomon, Kim Solomon, Solomon. I see where he was making a position about, about the show, show that he went to visit our leader with his uh, uh, in-law and, 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 and the barrister, you know? Every time our leader have a uh, have case to rock a good he always make problem. Mm. I don't know why the, this guy is going to what is going to see our leader for. Well, uh you said that our leader invited him, so that was what he said, right? If I invite him, do you think that our leader, our mother and the candidate one I know, we invite that that, that man <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, he said that. So <laughs> He said that, but anyway, that is the, that is a small thing. Anyway, it's not a it's not a big issue. So, all right, let me bring another person because I have to sleep. Thank you. All right, uh, we continue. I'm gonna take one more call. One more call. All right, uh, welcome to the program. Oh, top 
Confirm go today. What you don't do is bigger than you. My wife, the one I see, today is a confirmation. Confirmation. I'm telling you, uh -huh. you know, it's, a, 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 it's a day. Yes. 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 Ihai ga pia, ihai ga pia na woto Believe me. Ihai ga pia ha woto woto. This is just a beginning, just a small. Hmm. Udo. Udo. Ndewo, ndewo. I told them that the day we are going to march, they will know that they have been they have been facing the wrong people. Yes. <laughs> Okay, you have to okay, you have, have two minutes. <laughs> Happy New Year. You, you have one you have one minute twenty five seconds. Boss, we first. <laughs> <laughs> after you after you own black black and white television, that is the same old go. We have one minute twenty one twenty five minutes. Black and white television. <laughs> You don't know, say the live screen where they go home tomorrow on a black and white television on the broadcast. Are you serious? Oh, what point you go? Oh, what point you go another movie? Yes, Emma, 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 you prove it. Um, label Brav. Label Brav, she connected to every route, to every tap route. They don't know. They don't know. They don't know. They don't know. This one, now, you don't own, you don't say before, now, now color TV, that they broke out, but this one, now, black and white, they will use tomorrow. So they will come cut up. They will come cut up. They will come cut up. They won't go and identify that noise. Yes. They will say, now, now, you, now, you tell the person to make it call. Yes. You never know these people. You never know these people. You see these people? They will say, now, you tell them to make it call. And I'll say that you tell them make you call. You never know these people. <laughs> so, but what did they what did they surprise me? They say I after the lawyer tweets say our leader Nova Chop for two days and they don't give up. Mm. These people are the way the time where media go carry fire. Mm. For they where? still get mine, they still get the broker, so they talk about you know that the first we pass. For where they, they for where they go talk about that one? I go enter the 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 radio. Now, so so you talk about. I can't. I can't ask that. They don't talk about me. Uh, who they want talking? They go. They go that topic. <laughs> I can't ask. They wait till they talk. Say so we do our leader. You know the rich. Now know they hear them. When I leave this guy, this guy already go on with. Now say you know the idea. When I leave this guy, okay, we wait.
me be IPOB now. Me not tell her who won the year. Yes, yes. I'm going to talk about other person when I say no be IPOB. Let me just be that. Now, did you the word of these people? Chai. I don't know. I don't understand these people again. Mm -hmm. Okay, now. Uh, get one video. You know, say get one video when Solo do for congratulate them. Mm. Say... IPOB don't talk, say they're not there among of the criminals, say they don't uh, they don't separate themselves, say IPOB is not working with them. I don't know the guy will go cut that video. Come bring and come. It doesn't say who would they keep record for them. Mm. The video where one guy say the best thing that happened to an Ambra state is Soludo, where the tweet, where they write. The same time, if we go later, I don't know, so we don't keep up. <laughs> <laughs> I did not say, I did not, oh, 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 I don't know where that would be which. Because the way when I take the thing, the way when I take the keep screen short, eh? I don't know if I for Wait, honestly, I want to ask. How did they take you yeah. How did they take this? Because... Will they, follow, will, they, will they follow them now so that... They no, no. Uh, because, because once you post something, bam, within one second, and they, and they want to delete that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that can tell you. How did they do it? And I know that I've been telling you for the beginning, you say, uh, make you not fall our hand. You say, we will they keep something? We know, but will they keep... I mean, when I see they do this, your broker, so <laughs> you just scream, video them, we will record and keep it for you. <laughs> Okay, the way you go the little for your YouTube, we go bring and come out for you. <laughs> Let you know, say we got your record. So, you so, so if, if you want them now, most of them know the two right anyhow again. Yes. <laughs> most of them know the two right. If you don't mistakenly write them, a worry. Bob. So the way you come out, come talk rubbish for that or for me to do. They go just, they go just throw up. Even if that one second, if, even if that one second you, you leave her for this thing, somebody not capture her. How now they take Duam now? Are they ask? How now they take Duam? He said because, because he said, uh, uh, Soludo is what best thing that happened on that number. Uh, people are complaining. Now, he now went back. Mm. Don't talk to our leader. One said, uh, mm. don't vote and let her come back. So, they just they contradict themselves, they put themselves for trouble. Mm. They fool themselves. That is, they will be moved. Mm. All those things are waiting for the kids, they wait for them. That way, our leader will come out. <laughs> sure. All right, okay. Thank you. Sure. Thank you, Thank you very much. No other bros. Good we night. We do. Happy weekend. Yes, the same to you. The same to you. The same to you. All right, okay. Don't, don't collect our time. So, I have to give an opportunity to one person more. Uh, Chima Irechuku, uh, thank you very much for your super chat. We appreciate you. Uh, I can't wait to enter Biafra land, land of every good thing in life. God bless you, Mazi. That route. Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Actually, this is my first time of contacting you. I've been trying uh, since to contact you. Okay. But uh, I'm lucky today. You're welcome. So, Mas, there's this question that I have. You know, Emma, they buy a dollar for too much. It's on a banner truck in a pastures. So, for some, with the stories and everything going on, they buy a dollar many things just to uh, have a. Uh, in a pastures outside. Mm. Then, uh, and uh, with the information I'm having with, with most of the time, then they came with all these uh, passport and uh, whatsoever of it. The uh, only issue between the man and the woman, and they kick away the man out and they strip away some certain things. And uh, like, all of them with a strong immunity, any new woman. You understand me? So, mm. in the Adana Alib, in our own culture, we have our way of life. So, I'm, I'm just asking, will such immunity be given to women uh, in Biafra land? That's my question. First of all, Biafra is Biafra, and our culture is our culture. So, you can't replace culture. 
you have to first of all know the definition of culture. The, defini the definition of culture is that culture is the way of life of people. So, and that answered that question. So our culture is the way of life of our people. We may embrace civilization, or well, that is not to say that, because now, well, for example, our culture respects women. Yes, and our nice. and, uh, and uh, our in our culture, women also play a very vital role in decision making. Yes. So that's yes. that answers that question. And today you can you you will, you will understand that in our land, uh, you know, women have their right, and this not these things you are talking about now don't happen in our in our land, uh, you know, often. But of course, those who have embraced that Western life, you know can try to do something, but it is not almost the same. So today, the people who feel they are feminist and stuff like that, of course, they they they, they have this kind of, you know, not really uh, equality as as it is in the Western world, but equality of Arorale. You know what is equality of Arorale? You know, when yes, people... Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, so it is not like, it is not like a Westernized equality uh, per se. When you talk about equality of women, uh, equality, uh, you know, you talk about uh, giving women appointment, you talk about allowing women to participate in leadership, which is also, which is happening in our land. So this is equality. But you know, some people want to tell you when they bring the Arorala equality is that women don't have rights to do anything. That is Arorala. Or women yeah. belong to this, like this president of Nigeria, belong to other room. That is Arorala. Uh -huh. But in our land, we respect women and women have their right and they participate in decision making from the days, from the olden days to this present day. So when you are being contaminated with some kind of, uh, uh, you know, some kind of a bad influence, you have begin to have those kind of things in your society. We have a ways of solving problems when it comes to uh, marital problems. There are ways that is culture, cultural way of solving marital uh, uh, issues. And uh, of course, if we are going, when we are going to have Biafra and have our laws, there is going to be an equality and everybody will be treated the same. But that is not to say that our culture is not there. Because our culture is what we define what we are. So it is going to be one of the best system because we are going to recognize our culture. One time, give the room for equality in our law. Our women are pulling weight in the world, so we are not going to harness everything that women have to offer. In this Biafra struggle, for example, we have already started it, laying the example. So when you look at what is happening in Biafra struggle, women are very much, more, even doing more than men, and you can, you can agree with me. So the equality and the, the equality we are talking about already started here. And most of the women that are doing this have their husband and they respect their husband. Their husband respect them. Yes. Mm. So I think okay. I think um, this is a very good example from what is happening in the struggle now. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Marzi, there is another uh, question I want to ask. Okay. Though you might choose to ask, answer it though. Uh when Biafra comes, because uh, me, I'm sure, I'm certain that Biafra is coming next year. Definitely so, it's coming. There is not two ways about it. So, uh, will there be any law uh, uh, concerning this transgender of a team? You know, uh, you know, transgender, there are people that didn't cre create themselves. When you talk about trans, you know, trans are people that God created. So you, we cannot, uh, you know, question God why uh, some people cre were created like that and they become trans. So we cannot question God. And uh, we are going to make sure for us to be among a uh, respected country, best, one of the best country in the committee, among committee of nations. There are certain things that we need to look into to make sure we give fair, we treat people fairly, and allow people 
to live freely the way they choose. But, you know, I am just saying as an individual, and there's a person who lives in a civilized world. So, and I believe that what we are trying to bring back to our place to develop it is also to bring civilization. But it cannot crash with our culture, which is also the way of, of life. So we are going to make sure that everybody feel comfortable in Biafra, irrespective of your gender. Okay. That is what that's that is what I said. I just said culture. Do you understand? Uh -huh. So at, so I, you know every answer I'm going to give you goes to culture, which I say is the way of life. So we are going to look for a balance to whatever challenges we are going to have in that regard. But at the same time, everybody have the right to life, and we are going to ratify that particular uh, 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 you know treaty. Uh, you know, from international laws and all that. So once we ratify it, it is going to be one of the base that will propel us to a higher height. So we are going to, uh, you know, correct mistakes where other country has failed. I think we, we you know, it, it, one thing Biafra, is, one thing why Biafra is going to be one of the best country in the world is that we are not going to be a Latimus test. We are learning from what happened to others. And we're going to implement, borrow some of the things that has happened to other countries and make correction in our own country. That's one thing we're going to do. Yes. Mm. Okay, uh, there is uh, one more. Um, you know, this one, I'm, I'm speaking out of experience. Yes, go ahead. Because uh, when I was growing up, uh, the way we are saying that, we are saying that uh, you know, on when them which are some certain skills and then ma bagasha ball, you understand? I'm also and then about ball. Mm. I'm from Anambra actually. Okay. So, but it happened that from my locality, there were some good players anyway. Like you know hear that these people know how to play football. Then uh, it was like they we are using them. They will gather them and go for match outside Nigeria sometimes. Then they will promise and they will uh, sign them up uh, for the Nigerian feeder team, all those uh, rubbish. After that, after winning and securing some uh, trophies, they, will, they won't even settle those boys. And in a way, those talents are languishing. Then someone, uh, one of my colleagues then contacted me, is it not a few months ago, telling me that uh, there is another uh, coach that contacted him, telling him to come. That uh, they will be. I'm listening. Like it was as if to say that even if you have a good skill that is not being utilized in this zoo mm. because uh, because of the discrimination and the tribalistic of whatsoever they can call it. Mm. So uh, my question is uh, or a suggestion, please. When Biafra comes, uh, all. We have many uh, talents. I will leave any. I will leave any. I got no way in localities. Can we can harvest their uh, young talents? Because many people are languishing due to maybe they didn't, they, they weren't discovered earlier mm. or they weren't discovered at all. I understand. I understand. I understand all those. I understand all those things. Believe me, we have everything in our, in our uh, plan. So we are going to. Uh, harness all the talent you can take off. When you talk about Nigeria, for example, and even talk about America, even the United, even the even in the United Kingdom, the people that are bringing names to them are mostly from you know from Biafra, Biafra name and the one name. That's all. If you go to Olympic list in the United Kingdom, you find all the names. If you see black man there or black girl there, they are from you know Biafra or Dudua. There is no two ways about it. So we're gonna we're gonna harness and let me tell you one thing. You see, Nigeria is a complete crook country, a country that promotes crimes, they breed criminals, they don't support anything good. So even those who are doing sports in Nigeria, they have to struggle on their own to become what they are today. So we are going to develop a very good program for sport people, footballers. And so you don't need to be struggling to you know you don't need to be struggling to go out and uh, play football for somebody to hire you where your country is good 
people will come and they will treat you fairly and respect you. Nigeria is not a country, so that's why nobody respects them. Even your own people treat you bad. So in Biafra, if anybody take any Biafra citizen out, and anything happen, we take response. You take responsibility. We we deal with you. We we'll give you know we're gonna just you know we know how it works. Just like in this country now, you don't treat people anyhow. We have laws that uh, guide everything. Everything you know, sports laws and uh, you know everything. The laws that guide coaching. The law that guide uh, clubs. You know the law that guide. Uh, the sport men, the law that uh, guide whatever, how you pay them and all that. Allowances, all these laws, we are going to put them in place. So a country without law, that is Nigeria. If you ever ask you now, what is the law that guides uh, footballers in Nigeria? You don't have any law. They tell you NFA or whatever. That is the, there, doesn't, there, doesn't, there is no sport law injury and all that in Nigeria. They don't have, there is no law, you know, in the, you know, existing. So we are going to have all that. To you know, to make sure we secure uh, Biafra citizens that are into sports, both from football to track and field to anything you do, we're gonna have law. We just like in America, America have a very good system, a very good sports system and sport laws and all that. So we're gonna have it just like that because of the talent you have in Biafra land. Uh, we may develop the same system, the same collegiate system, like in the U.S where you have the uh, NCA, NCA, uh, NCAA, NCAA uh, collegiate uh, uh, competitions and championships. So we're going to develop that with time. And that is the target. I believe that the sports department of Biafra will develop a similar thing where it will be very competitive and people will develop and the talent will be harnessed early, uh, early enough. And we're going to dominate the world. In, in Olympics and everything, because it, we have it. So, so believe, believe me, believe me. The plan, if it is not all this in Dojo, they will just die off, so that we can we we land in Biafra immediately. You know, <laughs> you know. So, yes, <laughs> yes. All right. Thank you very much for your question. Yes. Currently now, Nambara states, LP worker from Mbuka Obosi to OP worker. Mm. Okay, take it. It might take you up to three hours journey. Up to three hours. We suppose not to. Here, consider like uh, two minutes. Uh, two minutes is too much. Thirty mm. seconds or what? Very, very uh, short distance. But uh, there is a military checkpoint there, causing a hold up, and they are collecting uh, money from any uh, every tricycle, any now any KK driver. They are collecting money there. And also bad road, bad road. Uh, we we have we uh, you see we are we my brother my brother we are in a liberation stage of Biafra, so any checkpoint anywhere molesting and killing our people will can enjoy it while it lasts. That's all I have to say. Okay. Mm. Thank, Thank you. you Matt. Thank uh, you very much. Uh, I just want to, the word to uh, to know this that. Um, because in the comment section, some people were saying that uh, you are selecting those that you are calling. I said that this is my first time of... Uh, no, it, 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 let me tell you, the reason why I allow you to talk is because you were asking a very interesting question. This is not everyday question you ask me. Yes. So if you ask okay, me a yes. very... If you ask me an interesting yes. question, I will give you that time to... Because I know it is a question that not everybody asks. And not it is not everyday question. So... This kind of question are very interesting question, and it's, a, it's more of a political question. So it has to be addressed, you know, and a very little percentage of people may be interested in that question. But then it is something that will define position of so many people in the struggle. Yes, yes, that's true, sir. Yes. That's true. So thank you very much. Okay, good night, sir. Good night. All right, uh, we have to end the broadcast because I have to go. Please, we have ended the broadcast, please. Tomorrow we continue and we are going to be fine tomorrow. Tomorrow we continue this broadcast. I don't want this broadcast to be more than one hour, a uh, two hours, 30 minutes. From here, from me, it's believing. May God bless you. May God bless Masin and Bikano. May God bless ESL. May God bless Omada. May God bless all alliances, both the one you know and the one you don't know. 
May God bless uh, Omar Das husband. May God bless our media team. May God bless you watching and making sure that this uh, Biafra liberation is seeing a very green light. God bless all of you. And from me, from here, good evening. May God bless on the Ibuha as well, before I forgot. <laughs>